we've talked about the 529 plans and we've talked about how you know it's a good way of saving for education and then whenever your kid gets to be in their junior year or so then you need to really start thinking about choosing college um, and so I feel like that's something that we don't talk about enough don't stress enough um, and so here's how it goes a lot of times So this is how I see it happening sometimes. So for whatever reason, whether it's the parent or the student, you get your heart set on a certain college, like I'm going to go to this certain university, and maybe it's because of the football program, or maybe it's because, you know, having the cool sweatshirt, or that's where all your friends are going. Um, but you, if you already make that decision, then the next thing is like, okay, then we're just going to figure out how we're going to get there. And so that would be, you know, yeah, you use 529 money, but then whatever the difference is, we're going to fund that with student loans. And then once you get there, then it figures like, well, I guess I better figure out what my major is going to be. And then so it's not, you don't decide your major until later. And then once you, once you get there, then the last step is just, I hope it all works out. So instead, let's kind of think of a more prudent way of figuring out what college to go to. Okay, so if we flip things around a little bit, and instead if we just start with a budget, and so whenever I say the budget, it's kind of like whenever you are getting pre-approved for a home, you know, it's determining like how much college you can afford. And so that takes into account the amount of 529 savings that you have, um, the amount of scholarships that, that you could potentially get, um, and then also the, uh, the cash flow that is going to be freed up by not having to pay for high school activities anymore. And then next, I know as much as possible, figuring out what your major is going to be. I know it's very common for people to change their major, but at least kind of having that idea of what your major is going to be, and then also what kind of job that you would have at a college, and then that can help drive how much student loan debt that you could potentially be able to take on. And a rule of thumb that I like to use and that I've heard is that you don't want to take out more student loan debt than what you feel like your, your expected starting salary is going to be. And so the next step is shopping around. So, and, and, I, and I mean more than just looking at the sticker price of college, figure out what the all-in cost is going to be because, you know, apply to, apply to several colleges. Um, figure out what kind of package, what kind of financial aid package they'd be able to get. Um, and then also you can, you can sometimes even take a financial aid package that you get from a similar school to one that you're wanting to go to and then be able to, be able to kind of ask if they would essentially try to match it. And finally, once you have all that information as far as how much money you can afford, um, what your expected salary or what your kid's expected salary at a college will be, um, and then the different packages that the different colleges are offering, and so you know what your all-in cost, then that's whenever you can finally choose a college that is the best fit for your child. So it's important to be thoughtful about this, because um, you want to set up your child for success whenever they graduate, and then you also don't want them living in your basement afterwards. So thanks, and I'll talk to you guys later.